Hi guys, it's Kara, and you may remember a few months back that I purchased this particular uh, pencil or pen case from Amazon. It's in one of my monthly haul videos if you want to go check it out. And I told you guys I think that I was going to be using it because I wanted to have a different option for some of my colored pencils because I was getting back into coloring, which is true, although I haven't done a ton of it lately. And I think part of the reason is because I've never officially moved any colored pencils into this. And I started the process and then I thought it might make a little bit of an interesting video from the for those of you who are interested in pencil pouches and you know how people use them so I thought I'd share kind of the old version and the new version and what my thoughts are and then maybe in a few months actually give you a genuine review of having used this so first I wanted to tell you just a little bit about this particular pencil case this is a global art uh, pencil case. It is supposed to hold 120 pencils. I actually have two of these large ones. This is the black one and I think it comes in maybe a slate blue and a wheat, what they're calling a wheat color, maybe a rose color, which is not rose by the way. It's kind of an orangey color. Um, and this also comes in several different sizes. Like I said, I think this is the 120. I have one in a 48 I have uh, in, in, I think, a 24 as well. And I genuinely like this particular uh, pencil case. Let me just show you a little bit about it in case you're interested. As you can see, it's, you know, decently sized. Uh, if you want to know specifically, it is about 10 inches wide by a, a little, slightly more than seven inches. Okay, and then this is a filled pencil case and it is about an inch and a half thick, okay? So, it has two sections. You can see the two zippers. The zippers start up here and they do snap into place, assuming you want them to. You don't have to do that, but they're nice and snug that way. And then you unzip it and it basically has two sections that are identical and look like this okay and basically unless you have super thin pencils this is going to hold about three pencils per little section so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sections um, per side so 30 pencils on each side which is where you get your 120. I do know that there are some people that take out some of the seams in between this elastic and are therefore able to fit more pencils in there. Um, I'm typically not a DIYer like that so I haven't done it um, but I did kind of rearrange my pencils. Um, I did a video in the past showing I think the insides of these cases and what I had done before was I grouped them by brand and I had a various sets of um, colored pencils that I had tried out, but I've actually gotten rid of most of them. I've given them to um, children of my friends. I have taken some to work for people to use for coloring there, and I've kind of pared down to just a few brands. I have some Prisma color ones, mainly because that's one of the first sets I started with. Uh, I have some Faber-Castell pencils. I have a few Holbein pencils, which are wonderful, and I think I also have one little set of Prima uh, pencils that I kept because there are a lot of skin and hair tones, which I liked, and then kind of this random little multi-set down here um, by, and I never say this name right, Koinor? Koinor? Something along those lines. Um, but with the exception of this little multicolored set over here, instead of grouping them by their brands now, I, as you can tell, group them by color. Because I know that I have a lot of colors that are very similar, and as I start using them up, I want to kind of be a little bit more aware of what colors I have and not duplicate any of them when I replace the pencils because I'm going to be phasing out the Prismacolors and getting more of the Faber-Castells and the Holbeins. Um, I am not a huge Prismacolor fan anymore having tried those other two brands. I don't think the quality of the Prismacolor is great. Um, I think the pencil lead is wonderful, don't get me wrong, but the way that the pencil is made uh, is just not wonderful. A great example of that is this little short pencil you see right here. It is this short because as I was sharpening it, the lead inside um, was breaking and I had to keep sharpening it and sharpening it. And basically these Prismacolor pencils just seem to be 
easily broken if you drop them or you bang them. Um, they don't seem to hold together very well and I'm just not all that impressed. So um, since I've done this, I'm looking at these now to pull some of the colors out to go into this case for coloring purposes. And I don't want to put a lot of the same colors in there. Um, and I want to have enough of a variety that I could blend things like that. So I'm gonna move some of these pencils into this pink pencil case, but not all. Um, I'm doing that for a couple reasons. The big one being that this is really just for pencil storage. There's not a lot of other things you can put in here. Um, and it's great, I do love these, these are wonderful. But when this thing is all full, it gets to be pretty heavy and um, it doesn't have pockets or sections to hold a few other things that I wanna have with me when I'm coloring. So that leads me to why I got this one. First of all, it has a cute little handle, which I think is great. Um, and then inside, like I showed you guys, there are some other um, pockets in here, which I like. And I do have them filled up a little bit. I put a few things in here, started it. As you can see right in here, I have a variety of some pencils and blending tools. Now, these may not be staying in here. I think I actually just put these in here because I needed a place to hold them. These are some more of those multicolored pencils I showed you guys. But in here, when I take those out, I do have a variety of blending tools. And let's see, so I have a, a coloring brush pen. I have a Prismacolor colorless blender. I have a Derwent burnisher. Um, I have that brand that I never say the name right, blender. I have a um, Caran d'Ache blender and a Derwent blender along with a Dove blender and a white gel pen, which I think all of which will be fun to play with when I'm coloring. And you can see it has this nice little zipper pocket. I'm actually going to be putting some erasers in here too eventually, um, but I'm doing some testing on the erasers. And then of course it has a couple little pockets here if you want to put something there. So that's one of the main reasons I liked it because it had another pocket um, where I can put some other pens and pencils and some erasers. This one over here really just had slots for you know pencils and things like that, but it's not going to be able to hold different erasers um, the way I want it to. And then the other thing that I liked about this one is that with the exception of this panel right here, this one and this one come out. So if I don't want to take as many pencils with me, I can do that. These happen to be my um, Favorite Castell watercolors, which is now another uh, favorite of mine. These are the only ones I have and the only ones I'll be getting for a while. I want to play around with them, but I'm keeping them in here. Um, and um, I'm going to try them on coloring and other things. But if I didn't want to carry them somewhere with me, I could just take this out and leave it at home. And that still gives me two more panels of colored pencils to use. And each panel will hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I can get 28, or sorry, 24 and 48 here. And then if I wanted the additional 24, I could do that as well. So that's another reason that I liked it. And then lastly, depending again on how stuffed you have it, there is room at the bottom to put in some small, um, coloring pages, which I have a variety of them in here, different things that you've seen um, from different hauls, and then a few different little bits and pieces that I've taken out of other coloring books that I have. Um, and I like the idea of being able to just carry those around in here. In case I don't want to take a whole big coloring book, I can just fit it right in here, bring the pencils I want, bring the erasers I want, and just go. Oh, and I'll probably put a pencil sharpener or two in here as well. Um, which is another reason why I wanted that pocket. I also did put um, a little writing board in here should I need it for the little coloring pages here, just in case. So anyway, I am going to now pick out the colored pencils that I want for these two panels, and then I thought I would come back and just show you how it looks when it's all full, in case you're interested, and give you that last little bit of an update. I'll be back soon, bye. Hi guys, it's Kara again. I thought I would just jump in here and show you really quickly what I went with 
for the colored pencils that I chose to put in this particular color pencil or pencil pouch. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I've been coloring in this particular coloring book, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I haven't really done a lot more, but in looking at this particular coloring book, for those of you who aren't familiar, there's a lot of florals, there's a lot of leaves, there's some houses, um, but it's you know, got a lot of like nature type things in it. Uh, so I kind of kept that in mind when I was picking pencils. And if you remember that Global Arts pencil pouch holds about 120 pencils and I had it almost all the way full, um, but I whittled it down and decided to just use 48 in here, okay? So here's what I came up with. Um, this stuff is still the same. I will be adding, like I said, an eraser or two and a sharpener, but I'm gonna do some kind of reviews of those first before I put some in there. In the meantime, I have a few yellows. I'm not a huge um, user of yellow, but I did put a few in here. And then some greens, because again, we have lots of leaves and trees and kind of things like that. I think those are pretty nice. And then I have a couple teals and some really pretty blues right here. I have a few purples, as you can see, also carried over here. Let me just take this out. Um, a couple more purples here. We go into some pinks, some darker pinks, and then some reds. Okay. One last really dark red right here. Um, an orange, some peach, and then a few uh, kind of just basic uh, browns, blacks, grays, um, neutral colors for me to use in different areas. And so that's what I came up with. And just in case you're curious, I did put a few Holbeins in here. You can tell because they have um, the little gold bar up a little higher. And I did put a, full, a few uh, poly polychromos in here, but most of them are the Prismacolor pencils. I'm trying to kind of phase those out of my collection because again, I'm not happy with the quality of the pencil itself, the lead. The colored lead I love. I think it's a really nice smooth um, lead but these pencils don't hold up very very well. I think I mentioned that in the first part of this video. If you drop it or anything like that they have a tendency to break. That's why this one is so short. It just the um, lead encased in here kept breaking and I don't know that I think their quality control is as good as it could be. Um, so for now I'm phasing them out. Um, I am curious for those of you who are users of colored pencils, whether you color or you do something else artistic, do you have favorite brands? I'd like to I'd like to hear if you do. Um, if there's things that or types that you like, leave me a little message down below and tell me like what kind and why you like them. Um, I'm always curious about that. I have phased out a lot of other kinds that I just felt were not ones that I wanted to use. They didn't blend well or something like that. Um, but I would be really curious to hear what you guys have to say. So I hope you liked just seeing how I had the pencils organized. Um, I may do some videos um, showing you more about my coloring. I haven't decided yet. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know so I can get some feedback on that. Um, and I think that's it for now, guys. So as always, thanks so much for watching the video. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.